Coming up on NSFW, me and Brian sort through the insidious communist plot to take over the internet and lock down freedom for once and for all. It's all coming up on NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 30 for June 30th, 2010. Play off keyboard communist. that intro video 
as we are wont to do from time to time, but you've stumbled into the best, worst shenanigan on these here interwebs. It is none other than NSFW, the new show full of women, the new sauce for the internet. I am your true American host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable co-host and true American capitalist, Mr. Jester Robert Youngification the first. How you doing there, Mr. J-R-Y? What's going on, sir? Uh, you know me, Brian, just another day on the watchtower guarding, guard, guarding Guards America. Guards America. <laughs> the barbarian Mongol horde. All right, all right. Uh, all right take uh, take two, take two. Gar guarding the guards, 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 guardies. Was, guards, was it gargle the guards? Gargle <laughs> you got the, it. Oh, you got guarding it. Guarding the guards. All right, here we go. All right, all right. And take two. two. And well, you know me, Brian. Uh, you know, just another day in the Watchtower, guarding God's America from the thieving, filthy Mongol hordes that to try to descend like so many locusts upon us. You know what, and uh, this is not some made up shenanigan that you just pulled in your brain out of nowhere with your hallucinogens and your, your rap music as you're wont to do. This is a no, true threat. not with your barbiturates and your anal nitrate. You turned into, did you say anal nitrate? I think it's amyl nitrate. What the kids are doing, Brian, I read the <laughs> I'm internet. sorry, the kids are taking it anally now. It's anal, anal nitrate. Anal nitrate. Okay, but the yeah. point is, the point a lot is. Of nitrates up there. <laughs> There's a lot of nitrates going in every Naturally orifice there is. <laughs> the point you know, is... You don't want to know what's going on in these streets. <laughs> Listen, I tuned into the Google News and I was horrified. Do you know what was living right here in God's America? Uh, I don't know, Brian. Why don't you inform me and then by proxy the rest of our viewers? Well, I'll tell you what. Freaking spies. Spies living among us pretending to be good old-fashioned God-fearing Americans with their making the babies and their producing and their, their school districts gerrymandering sitting there in suburban America acting like they're one of us. But they ain't one of us. They're one of no, them. No, and if it, if it weren't for their unnatural love of quiche and the metric system, we might have never found them out. But well, we did. Indeed, of we course, did. referring to the, the FBI, which rolled up a Russian spy ring in New York City this week, which, you know, me and Brian, uh, we, we keep in contact uh, on, on an almost uh, uh, uncomfortable level. So we, we were on the phone, as we normally are, just briefing uh, each other on the news and our lives. And... Uh, on all things said, American, let's face it, our briefings are about, like, how great apple pie is. How awesome yeah. Toby Keith is, and how, how much we like how, Ford automobiles. We could and could not beat in an arm wrestling contest, which is a constantly updated list. Yeah, let me give you uh, a shorthand hint. Anyone foreign is going down. That's what I'm saying, right? You, you feel me? You feel me? All right. right? So with, uh, with no, the I hammer do. of I feel you. I call it George Washington's hammer because. We're about to go, and I take a $1 bill, and I punch you in the face with the hammer, and then it, they go down. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, the, that's what I like to call Thomas Jefferson's version of going over the top. <laughs> he goes over the top. With a $2 bill. modern plowing system. <laughs> that's a $2 the bill. face with it. All right. Boom. No, that's good. That's good. So anyway, we were, uh, we were eating hamburgers <laughs> and thinking about how great America is. And then we heard this sure. news, I mean, about well, the commies. The deal, folks, if you haven't been listening to the news, uh, there is a big ring of commie spies that are out there in New York, and now they're busted. And me and Brian got to talking, we did. We said, hey, listen, you know, if they can get to New York, they can get anywhere. So really, it's about time we brought back some tried and true techniques that have served this country oh so well throughout the years. It's a painless procedure called the McCarthy list of un-American enemies. See? So that's what we're going to do tonight. Thank you. I'm glad you said it and I didn't have to because I assumed everybody knew. Listen, when you got an anarchist society where everyone's able to run willy-nilly with your four chans and your YouTubes and your red tubes and your blue tubes showing I don't even know what goes where and what your fist with the anal nitrates, then you start getting an anarchical society and it all goes to crap. And that's why I believe right here on our very same internet that we know and love, there be spies 
not just any spies, but sleeper agents pretending to be those among us. Among us. Um, among us. Take two. Among us. Take two. All right, hold on. Wait a minute. Can we go ahead and get ready? Yeah. And, and speed. <clears throat> and go. Those among us who may act like they're internetual assistants, uh, uh, citizens. Assi uh, assi uh, why don't you take it, Justin? Go. Just, just roll. No, no, just roll. Just roll. <laughs> okay, I'll go. I'll go. Acting like they want your assistance, asking you to follow their Twitters, <laughs> listening to their podcasts. You could be doing that today, but we will leave no stone unturned, my friend. No, we're going to go. We, we've been collecting uh, submissions all day as thankfully people have been turning in their neighbors so we can review the cases. We're going to put together a list. And at the end, we're going to alert the proper authorities. That's just it, my friend. It's the everyday heroes. It's the little Joes like you and me and my friend, little Joe, who sit around <laughs> keeping an eye out for peoples who don't quite look right on the interwebs. Maybe they're a little bit, maybe they, uh, well, for example, i tell you what, our fearless leader, Barack Obama. Sitting there, this is what he was doing when the spies were caught. He was eating hamburgers because he knew the citizens of this United States of America were out there catching them spies. And what are you and I going to do, Justin? We're going to eat hamburgers, and we put it to the chat room to tell us who out there are the spies, the commies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Brian, all right, so do me a favor. Why don't you start from the bottom? Of uh, of the of our the list, the oldest of, of our of our list here. So uh, and and actually skip the first one and go to Joe's. Yep. No, I'm I got it. I got it right here. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. All I'm right. getting incensed and enraged at the same time. Well, no, listen, all right, Brian. Brian, I want you to go ahead and cool your heels, John Wayne. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna look from a dispassionate perspective to make sure that we can put somebody on our list of internet. Un-American activities, people who are spying for Mother Russia. Got it. And All so right. you're going to read this or what? Yeah, I'm going to read this one. Okay. Uh, Joe writes a sin. I think I know a spy. His name is Nathan H. I won't uh, give his surname in case the guys watch the Twit Network. He's a writer for a video games website, and I think the internet should be aware of him. Things that make me convinced he's a spy. He knows inside facts about gaming, including some embargoed E3 reveals. Only spies know gaming stuff. <laughs> he, make up, he makes up words that just cake, cakewalk. That math exam was a cakewalk, is an example. Only spies make up words. He loves David Bowie, and only spies love David Bowie. He's a cool lad, but he's too defensive and was raged by Roger Ebert's Gaming is an Art articles recently. There's some ammo for you. His Twitter is Nathan Z's. Uh, hey, Justin, last time yeah. I checked, what, what part of the world was Chicago in? Uh, uh, that would be Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, yeah, Illinois. A, uh, not quite a province, but some might say a state of what country? Uh, the United States of America. Hold on, wait one more time. Uh, take, <laughs> take two, take two. United States of America, Brian. Right. Okay. And uh, where does where does a uh, certain Mr. Roger Ebert live, my friend? Uh, that is Chicago, Illinois, United States, America, which would make Earth. him by default a what? Fat. <laughs> Oh, American, American, American. Okay, no, yes, yes. Okay, both of yeah. the above. Yeah. The point is, sure. the point is, <laughs> anybody who would think to dispute the ramblings of somebody from this great country of All America, right. I question them myself. Right. Here we go. Uh, Brian, I'm going to judge on, on, and I think we should just look at his last three tweets and judge on whether or not he is a communist. All right. Okay, a communist. All right, let's take a look at him. His first, his first tweet from five hours ago, has just found out Spain won against Portugal. Now my favorite to win. I don't know why they are true underdogs. So this is somebody who actively put out to the Twitter sphere pro-Spanish agendas. Yeah. Or, yeah, or as I like to really, phrase them. really hard, hard to deny that. Anti-English agendas. Anti-American. I mean, let's face it. We talk uh, You know, they, they beat Portugal. But uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead with that. Yeah, anti-English. All right. Way anti-English. All right, so here we go. His next tweet, uh, Portal 2, come to me. 
Wait, wait is, a that little, a, uh, is that a, a dance? Coveting, a little covetous. Is that, is that a dance that the kids are doing now? I don't understand. Where is this headed? Uh, you know the video game, Brian. There's no, there's no need for shame here. We have a cool and level head for which we are judging these people. All right. Well, look, the point is, this is all hearsay. This is all roundabout ups and downs, and we don't really know where he stands on a true American institution, something every woman, child, and grandmother should approve of. What else does he say, Justin? Well, he replies to his friend Flash B, just throw your iPad at her or punch your dad in the knee leggings. Uh, that was not what, uh, <clears throat> all right, let's back, we'll back it up. I actually meant this. Are you backing it up? Yeah, I was uh, this way. Take two, take two, take two. Take two. Are we doing take two? Yeah, take are two, take, take two? two. And Justin. Contemplating never joining Facebook as my family's and, and chaos would occur. Okay, that was really weird on our end because you totally froze the hell up and nobody could hear anything you just said. <laughs> that was, I was like, I, was, I thought my computer totally locked up when you said that. So we'll do uh, take three and go and go. I'm contemplating never joining Facebook as my family, friends, online workmates would intersect and chaos would ensue. Uh, he said it occurred, but the point is, you know, whether it's in Russian or English, the point is, <laughs> I mean, can we call this one? Can we call this one? Uh, Brian? Put him on the I'm list? I'm going to go ahead and, and, and cast my vote, and that is <laughs> Kami. Uh, you know what? I'm going to cast my vote, and it goes a little like this. I think we've heard quite enough, sir. The jury remains eerily silent during this tribunal, which I think speaks <laughs> for itself. All right, Justin, who else is All right, well, there we go. Now, listen, I want to remind everybody that the reason why we're doing this is for your benefit. Not just okay? our benefit. We don't, we don't want... Yeah, we don't want to, uh, you know, who wants a world where we log into the internet and we want to go to a site like, let's say, dig.com. And instead of being able to dig something, you have to wait 45 minutes in a dig line before you can even click that button. Do you want that for you and your children? See, you no. Know you say that's why you're doing it. You know why I'm doing it? For this why? guy right here. For heroes like this man, <laughs> for Fapper D. Dolphin, who's out there on the front lines. Exactly. See what I mean? It's guys like him who are making it happen, who are defeating the forces of darkness. And I'm ready. To, I'm, I, for one, am ready to make it happen and go. I march to his lead. He leads. He cuts through. That's right. All right. Here we go. Uh, John has as a list of them. So I'll tell you, let's just go ahead and, and, and spitball these. Uh, his first, his list begins with Dan Trachtenberg. Whoa, whoa, Dan whoa, 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 whoa. I, I work with, with Dan Trachtenberg. He's at Revision 3. He works on the Totally Rad Show. He seems like a cool guy. He likes, did he, did he give, I mean, did he give any explanation at all? Uh, yeah, he did. He said, uh, Trachtenberg has always been a commie spy, making Totally Rad Show a partially commie-fueled operation. Can't argue with that logic. Uh, you know what? I can, because I have not okay. heard anything about any bag. How do we see you? You. This is your problem, Justin. Anyone says okay. the C word, and you get all excited. As soon as anyone says the C word, you're just like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And then I'm just like, I know no, you're dude. not allowed to say the c word. I'm I right. know that's just it. Is we're not going to say the c word. But any time anyone says it, you're like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And this. Oh, come. Okay, sorry. I was right. confused. Take two. Right. Take okay. The, the the point <laughs> is, you can't just call people a commie, man. At least we had evidence with this first case. He made the list fair mm -hmm. and square. He had it coming. I'm not seeing any evidence for Danny. He's part of a group. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing. They it. all get free stuff and they distribute it amongst each other. Mm, I'm, I'm what would a government run under Dan Trachtenberg look like? <clears throat> I, it, I tell else. you what. I'll tell you one thing. It would be prettier than anything we have in our current government right now. It would be well cinematographized, to use his words. That's all right. Well, you want to know what? I'm going to defer to you. All right. I'll spare 
I'll spare Dan Dragdenberg. He will get. I am a real American. He made the list. All right. He made the list. There we go. Chat room seems to agree as well. They seem to. They, actually. Patrick Delahanty is saying you're right. The totally red show. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. All right. It. Well, here we go. We, we, we have a lot to go through. So uh, we have a few more. YouTube user Pruane Forever hasn't always been a spy, but the original was captured upon a meeting with commie spy 50 Cent. His identity was stolen by a spy hiding under the clever guise of puberty and braces. See, again. Now, Again, a, a well-written narrative, not so much on the evidence. If you want us to believe that this is a spy, you better convince us. And the fact that you know, he was a spy because he's hit puberty, let me tell you, dude, Americans hit puberty too, including this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and we hit it hard. We hit it real hard. We hit it. We hit it like 20 minutes ago. This is a big time for us, all right? Do you mind? Annie from App uh, Judgment? Goes, uh, you you want to know what? I'm going to go ahead and give him. I am a real American. Even though I actually think he's Canadian. I'm, so, looking, I'm uh, looking at all of these. He's a Native American, you know, a North American. Uh, I'm looking at this whole list. I'm not seeing any evidence. I'm done. I am a North American. <laughs> I am a fight for what's north of South America. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> Even sometimes Central America, depending, depending on, on the day, I haven't decided. <laughs> uh, like I'm not. I, I'm sorry, John Vogel, with so many poorly entered. All right, then, then let then let's just run through these really quick. You just say no or all right, yes. Go, okay. go. I'll say no uh, to all. Vision three has a few more Russian installs, such as Annie from App Judgment. No, not a communist. She's hot. Go on. Callie Lewis, whose departure from Mevio is all part of a commie plot. Don't want to repeat myself, but she's hot, not a communist. Next question. Oh, surprisingly, Robert Chang, who's been dealing with the Russians since the days of tech TV. He is Asian, which does not mean North Korean. And I'm, I think it was a racist assertion on John Vogel's part. Go on. Next one. And finally, out of uh, probably worth mentioning that Dvorak has a storied history with the Russians. Not out of loyalty, though. He's a renegade whose work will go to whoever pays the most. Hold on. Is he a hired gun? Hold on. Hold on. I do believe, yeah. and the chat room will I correct me if I'm wrong, but I was informed by certain, I don't want to say, I mean, they're not spies. They're, they're informants. They're, they're, they're Americans who keep an eye on the doings of podcast ears. Sure. Dvorak called me a douchebag. Between you and Dvorak. Dvorak yeah. called me a douchebag out loud uh -huh. Uh -huh. at the behest of somebody who paid him money to do so. And I can't figure out if that makes him more American or less American. Because on the one hand, he called me a douchebag, which to me, communist. But he also did so because he was being paid to say those words, which makes me think American. Justin? Well, he said he was being paid to say those words, Brian. We don't know for sure where that money came from. It could have been right from the piggy bank of the Kremlin. Sprinkle a few shekels in the hands of Mr. Dvorak so we can go ahead and impugn the good name of freedom-fighting Americans like Brian Brushwood. All right. uh, I'm sorry, man. No, 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 no. Listen, listen to me. I actually think, may I speak, sir? May I speak? Because I I'm think like, that there is nothing more American. Because I, you know, I've worked with John Dvorak a couple of times on Twit. The guy's a great guy. We have a great time. But somebody paid him to say dirty words about this guy. And he, I'm sure he didn't want to, but the money was in his hand. He was paid to do a job. And I could think of no truer example of capitalism than somebody willing to break down his own morals for a buck. To me, that's an American, my friend. Justin? All right. You, you want to know what? I'll, I'll, I'll defer to you. But I'll tell you what. When he flips and reveals his true colors and we're all sold up the river, then you're going to hear this in your ears. <laughs> but for the meantime, what do I hear about Dvorak? All right. I am a real American. By the way, uh, real quick, do you want to know the do you want to know the real story about the Dvorak, Dvorak thing? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, I was let, on. We, we didn't. We didn't get into this. Okay, so I was on this week in tech with John C. Dvorak. It was me, Leo, never and John C. It. Dvorak. Uh, it's it's sort of a big deal on the internet. Which okay. wait a minute, you've never heard of it? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Okay. That was a joke. Yeah. No, I know. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> we he was starting to spin a conspiracy theory regarding uh, the iPhone or some other thing, and I chimed in with like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's some no agenda talk right there." That's all I said. And of course, anyone who listens to No Agenda, his podcast with Adam Curry, knows that conspiracy theories is a common thread in all of their shows. And so the next week when he's on No Agenda, all of a sudden I get like 25,000 tweets and be like, dude, you got called out by John C. Dvorak. He called you douchebag on the uh, on, on No Agenda. And I tune in and I listen and it wasn't him. It was somebody who sent a donation and asked him to say Brian Brushwood is a douchebag for uh, for criticizing No Agenda, which of course I did not do, and I've actually listened to No Agenda. I like it. And uh, uh, wait, can we do that? Can we can we have people pay us so we say things that they want said? I can think of nothing less American <laughs> than that. To be honest, nothing less capitalist, nothing less pure. I believe we may have found something rather special here, Justin. And in fact, there we, actually, we go. Uh, if, if you don't mind, we actually have our first caller on the line who's got a suggestion for us. All right, here we go. We're going to call him. Right now, we only have one on our list, and I'd like to get this up to 50 or 60 by the end of the show. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to hold off before we bring him on, but for those of you guys listening live, you can call us at NSFW Show. Uh, yeah, NSFW Show on Skype. We'll bring you on live. Don't call us any other time because you won't get a hold of anyone. That's kind of how that works. But uh, you got one more you want to you want to read for us, Justin, while we're waiting. Oh, we got we got all sorts of them, man. Okay, here we go. Uh, this one is from Ian in uh, Ian in the in, in the list here. If you can bring up the picture, he said he cracked the code, Brushwood. Watch out! I have the documents. Okay. And, uh, he's presented a, a strip of photographic <laughs> oh <my> evidence. God. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm trying to frame this correctly so we can share it with everybody at home. But there's a number of documents. This is... Uh, no, we, there we got go. I think a clear picture of Brian in his past. I, I, I did not know. We um, also have, we have Justin walking happily along with what looks like the president of Russia. And of course... And, uh, and, and Dr. V, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, <laughs> Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor, with uh, with uh, looking very sinister in, in a vaguely well, it looks James Bond. looks to be a Bonnie severe movie. case of vitiligo on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, because he's got white hands. All right, we've got somebody calling in right now who may thinks he knows a communist spy on the web. Caller, you're on the, on the air, sir. Go. And talk. And say your words. And, and the call is over. All right. Uh, oh, we do have another caller who, who seems to have something very sincere here. I'm very excited about this. Let's bring him on the here air. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. I'm sorry. That was, that was Adrian Brody again. On, on his oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I that, apologize was, that was that a everybody. mistake. Okay. Was, next, uh, all right. Next item. Wait, Justin, let's talk right. about the uh, no, no, I'm going to go ahead and take offense to those pictures. Uh, Number one, it's been years since me and V have talked. Uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, Brian looks very dashing in that hat. I do not <laughs> think you're a cop. <laughs> and that is a damn fine cat that Odokta is stroking. That's all we're going to say about that. And I hope he's recovered from that skin disease. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. This one comes from Dennis. And I think we got a, we got a, good, uh, we got a good one here. Okay. All right. Go on. You want me to? You want me to play the footage that yeah, he go sent ahead and in? Play, play the evidence. All right. Well, uh, this is. I, I'm a little bit worried because I, you know, we we don't normally play footage that we've never seen before. No, I've I've seen it before. You've seen this exact one. Yes. Well, we'll just wait for it to load because I'm afraid YouTube is taking its sweet ass time. But in the uh, meantime, you got someone else uh, you want to talk to us about? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hold hey. on. Actually, joining us on the line again is M. Bazdell. You got something you want to share with us, sir? You know, a communist? I do. I have to say this. I've been in the chat room. Can you guys hear me this time? Yes, we can. Now, can. to yeah, spill yeah, it, sir. Ahead. 
Okay, I, I've been I've been in the chat room. I've been watching, and for some reason, <sighs> Brian, you've been really defending the commies that everyone's been pointing out. Oh, hold on. We can't. Well, I just got to say that. Hold on. You're not going where I think you're going here. I, I, I'm just saying we've been in the chat room. We've had a very good consensus of who's a commie and who's not. And it seems like you've been kind of defending them. Guess what, Embazdel? You just made the list. Click. Oh, no! That's how we roll on this show. That's how Americans roll. We don't take that kind of accusatory <laughs> Gus. Well, I'll tell you what. You know what, Brian? I'm sticking up for you. And although I completely agree with this guy's what this guy's saying, I think you've been totally soft on the red menace so far during this episode. I'm gonna go ahead and back your play, because me and you, we're bros. We're always gonna be bros, and I'm riding with you. It's bros you before Coes. That's bros before <laughs> communists. <laughs> bros before Coes. All right. Rose like ice and Co's. We're icing those Co's Today's this video episode. is brought to you by LivingSocial.com, the ultimate website for bargains, which is appropriate because today's lesson is about the word bargain. All right, hold on, hold on. On the one hand, she sounded very Russian. I'm not going to disagree with that. That clearly sounded now, like you, a Russian. You have, you have pushed forth a paradigm saying hot equals not communist spy. And I don't know. I've been very dubious of this. I backed your play. All right. But I'm. Not, I, I really. This is going to test your theory. Can I? Can I take it a step farther? What is Go she ahead. doing in the first ten seconds of this video, sir? Well, my dear students, today's video is brought to you by LivingSocial.com. What is that, sir? What is that? What uh, do you that's what I like to call a little smoke screen. Uh, See, here's the thing. Okay. Your first problem. These are deep cover spies, Brian. These are not, they're not parading up and down the streets with a sickle and hammer on a banana hammock doing cartwheels, you know? <laughs> yeah, but look at this. This is like this. She's covered in advertisements. This is the most commercial Let me video. ask you something, Brian. If you walked into Red Square and you wanted to blend in, would you be shooting a firecracker out of your butthole, <laughs> waving an American flag? And singing all sorts of songs like Lady Gaga? No. No, no, you're right. You're you right. You walk in there with a big fat furry coat and asking someone where the bread line was. Oh, okay, no, you're, you're right. You're right. No, I think. That sounds like this. Hello, my name is Brian Brushwood. I would like bread line. Nothing wrong with me, comrade. <laughs> you know what? That's a good point. I tell you what, we'll leave it up to our caller. Right now we have Bill on the line. Bill, is she a <laughs> communist spy? Previous. I mean, I mean, hello, Privet, um, hello, hello. <laughs> Bill is apparently having a little bit of trouble. Hello, Bill, Bill. <laughs> Bill, is she a spy? And he's gone. That didn't go so well. All right, well, I think uh, in default, uh, we go to spy, right? Uh, I think I'm ready to book another one. Brian, are you down with it? All right, dude, let's book it. Right here, hop for words, lady. <laughs> Hold on, we got somebody calling on the line who claims to be an actual communist. Uh, caller, <laughs> caller. I am Comrade Carhacks. I'm, so, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, Comrade! Comrade Carhacks on the line? Yes. I'm sorry, sir. But I'm afraid your shenanigans will go nowhere. Can you confirm some of our inquiries so far? Have yeah. we actually I outed? I can confirm that the caller that called earlier and told that Brian was a communist is in fact a communist himself. <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad we got that worked out. Thank you very much, exactly. Comrade Carhax. Of course. <laughs> Com Comrade Carhex. Too communist for us. Listen, I know, I know Back we're. He said he was too he, communist, too communist, communist for, the for us. <laughs> All right. Well, I understand that uh, that you and I are on opposing teams, but as gentlemen to each other, can you confirm for us whether or not Hot for Words Girl is 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 a communist spy? Oh, she's totally the communist. Oh, come on. Thank you very much, Car Hacks. <laughs> We're also joined on the line by friend of the show and co-host on the Weird Things podcast, Andrew Maine. Andrew Maine, are you there with us, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm, uh, I was actually watching TV and 
forgot I left the, the, the Twitch stream on my iPad and saw you guys. And I, I thought, man, I got to get my tie because you're dressed up for like a Weird Things investigation. No, but we're not. We're <laughs> dressed up for defending yeah, I, I, America is what we're doing, sir. Oh, we just got put on hold by Andrew Maine, which means we're going <laughs> to drop Andrew Maine. And let's go on to our next item. Who's next on our list of people? It, actually, you want to know what? I'm going to go ahead and call a little audible here. Oh, because really? Because I have something that I know you're going to find infuriating. We're getting late a late-breaking cable from our friend C. Robert Cargill, a.k.a. Massaworth. I'm sorry, what? Who is, who is breaking the news right now that... Uh, the last Airbender movie is, in fact, a total piece of dog mess. No. His no. Quote, Dragon Ball all over again, which lends credibility to an earlier claim. M. Night Shyamalan is it the final insult for Brian Brushwood. Are we ready to put this guy on the red list? Are you talking about M. Night Shyamalan or Massaworm? Because yeah. I'm M. about Night, ready to M. put Night, him on M. the Night list. Shyamalan. I'm, I'm, I'll am i put Massaworm on the list before I put in my Shyamalan. You're really, Brian, Bri, Bri, whoa, 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 Bri, 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 hold on. You're really going to go out on a limb for the happening and the village no. where you can see the twist coming from a billion miles away? No, he no, didn't no. he screw up something that's totally out of his element? You're going to throw your friend Massaworm under the bus? No, I won't. You know why? Because Massaworm's an American. He's a true, legendary capitalist American. Now, if we can dispense. All right, Andrew Maine, now that you hung up on us. <laughs> I, you I didn't it. hang up. What's I'm going using the Skype app on my iPhone and somebody text messaged me. Okay, that's all right. What's going on? What did, what did you want to share with us? It was from a red state. It was, it, was, it, was, it was the Reds that texted you and screwed everything up. Go on. What do you got for us, well, Andrew? I you guys need, I need to have a list. We've got to have a formal list. It's one thing to talk about these things, but I think you need to really start compiling this. D that's what this that's is what about, bro. That's what, I, I know. Where's the physical right now. list? This is, uh, this is bros icing co's. And when we say icing, I mean killing. I mean yeah, putting I, them I on a list and killing them. writing this down where I can go look at this and cross-reference it? Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, the yeah. chat room. Oh, no, absolutely. Chat room has all of this. All right, Mr. Mayne, okay. we, we got to get back to defending freedom, if you don't mind, well, sir. Well, no, Andrew, Andrew, do you have anybody that, that you'd like uh, for us He's to make a He's already gone, on? bro. He's already gone. He's All already right. gone. Well, Andrew, if you're watching this, text message me if you have if you have anybody that you'd like to put on the list. We have another one uh, coming up here. Uh, can I can uh, I actually bring up, like we actually have some evidence here of what appears to be okay. one of, I mean, I don't know what to make of this. This is evidence that I would not have believed in a short time ago. But clearly okay. seems to indicate that uh, somebody we love and trusted is may in fact actually be a communist spy. And I went to go load it, and it's no longer on my <laughs> web page. So back to you, Justin. <laughs> As you can see, the insidious tentacles of the Red Menace seeps even into this podcast. As we inch ever closer to the truth, Brian... Touché, we continue sir. to be thwarted on a technical level. This is real. This is a imminent threat, and it is one we need to identify and eliminate. Not unlike a very silly tumor. <laughs> Here very, we go. All right, go ahead. What do you got for us? Uh, a, a very, a very well-written letter from Anthony. Ferris. Anthony Ferris writes, Dear Justin and Brian, communists through history have been united around two things. Their hatred for freedom and facial hair. Marx, Lenin, Stalin, Hitler, Jesus, Darwin, James Randi, Rutherford B. Hayes. They've all had hairy faces. Good sirs, a new secret communist spy has infiltrated our shield of diversity, American patriotism, and he's in our backyard. Ladies and gentlemen, he submits to the panel even, and it hurts to say it, a close personal friend, Tom Merritt's beard. No, 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 no. I, I can't believe that. The, I mean, Tom Merritt, total commie. But his beard? His beard is his the one that told beard. us to relax. Come on. Say, well, I'll tell you what we do. Actually, Brian, if you can bring up the recorded testimony of Tom Merritt's beard. We, I will just full disclosure for everybody. 
we uh, went over and, and brought these charges to Tom Merritt's beard earlier today. And in a secured connection, we have a recorded deposition of Tom Merritt's beard answering the charges of communism and being in league with the Red Menace as a deep cover spy on the face. He just says relax. That's all it says. That's not a defense at all. All right, Justin. Really hypnotizing, though. Isn't it? What's that? <laughs> what, the beard? Really oh, the beard's totally hypnotizing, dude. Come on. You're just sucked into it. Where are you at on this one, Brian? Hey, man. The evidence speaks for itself. Tom Merritt, maybe an American. The beard? Not so much, bro. Play it. All right. All right. Add it. Add it to the list. Done. Done and done in one. Meanwhile, I'm waiting on somebody in the chat room to send me a link to whatever video I was going to play that totally vanished, which I was really, really excited about. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, nobody in the chat room has come to my All right, defense. here we go. Uh, this one comes in from Dan. Uh, these will be quick answers. Bride, just say yes or no. Done. Justin Robert Young. Not a commie. Here we go. Steve Jobs. <sighs> I need to hear the case made for Steve Jobs. You got to answer right off the bat. Not, not, not a commie. Anyone who's making bank the way he is, not a commie. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Um. Oh, total, total communist spy. Yeah, dude, dude, clearly sent the program our brains. No doubt about that. How about how about the accidental rubillionaires, Zuckerberg? <laughs> I rule billionaires. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? All right. So we got another one on the list. All right. Hold on. We got a caller coming in. Caller. Caller. Hopefully with evidence of of other reds in the in the internet. Who do you got for us, caller? Drew. Uh, Steve Jobs is a total commie. What are you fucking talking about? That's what. That's what I just said, <laughs> bro. All right, hold on. Hold on. Whoa. You think this show's not You're safe for work? You can't talk that well, way on this I show. I must be behind the streams then because you definitely said because he was making such bank that he wasn't a cop. But when I was put, when I was pressed, where did I come down? We were just playing the song for him when you interrupted us. Now, if you don't mind, we'll take another call. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is, he, is, he, is he saying Jobs is a commie? I, I did. We All right. We have another caller on the air. Caller. Commies. Give them to us. Is he... Caller, turn down your radio. Turn your radio down. Come on, caller, turn down your radio. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go, speak your words. You're off. Out of here. Hit the bricks, sucker. Move this man. Move! All right, now we got a real caller. Andros, what's going on, man? God, you know what hey, it feels doing? good to so do, I, Brian? I was watching the show, and I had an, an epiphany. I was. It blew my mind. Go on. Gentlemen, we have... There was a communist among us. It is, it is neither Mr. Brian, it is neither Mr. Jerry. But when I realized this, my jaw hit the floor. And? If you're, it, I'll just come out and say it. It's YouTube. YouTube is a communist. What? And I have All right. Well, we're lit. you have our ear, sir. Okay. So, you're a spy. You're, you're infiltrated the American well oil machine. You, your options sure. are simple. You go after something big. Well, I don't kill the president. No, too too obvious, too hard to do. But what if you could be infiltrating and slowing down the wonderful machine that is the United States? What if you hosted a website with a lot of videos on it and just made it really slow and equal for everybody? The same <gasps> download speed for everybody. This is this YouTube is big. Is can I can I blow your mind? Sergey Brin, what is that? Co founder, Google, create owners of YouTube. He wasn't born in America, was he? No. Where, no, was, he he to... Where was he born, Brian? He was born in a country besides America. <laughs> China? He was born in China. <laughs> Close it up. That's big time, bro. But not as big time Dude, as the evidence. All right. Hold on. Wait a minute. We've cracked the case here. This is where it all stems from. Sergey Brin, as he slowly let out, he's just... 
just dripped across the world wide web as if an eggshell shattered upon a globe with the yolk running over every country. Uh, like so much emulsified goo. Comrade Car Hacks, is this true? He's back. You found out our plan. <laughs> this is obviously. Uh -huh. Now we must see change from YouTube to some other video site. <laughs> this is going to be annoying. <laughs> I love I love the strength which which he says. Now we must. Uh, I don't know. Change to some other site. <laughs> it's just going to be annoying. <laughs> by the by the way, we have evidence of somebody who tortured our very own liege. Iriana Slutsky from Geek Entertainment TV. Now you're safe and you're not going. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't hurt me. I won't hurt you if you tell me what I need to know. Can I have a smoke? What? Ah, my pipe is right there. Well, I understand addiction. Uh, by the way, uh, I don't know why we never thought to to invite Ariana Slutsky onto the show. She would be so perfect on the show. Have you ever watched Geek Entertainment TV? Uh, no, Brian, because I like to keep my mind pure. <laughs> with your American I don't, I don't listen to Reds. I crush them. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, she, I think we we really we, we we've cracked the big plot here. Although we do have some late breaking evidence coming in, uh, Brian. If you go to uh, Rebecca's uh, email, the uh, cable that was sent in about an hour ago, some very disturbing pictures. I don't like somebody. this at all, sir. This appears to be yeah. what looks as though no <laughs> <laughs> evidence of our very own Fapper the Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Justin, you and me, this is our resolve to American issues that we are willing to turn away one of our own based on solid evidence. There we go. Pepper, he's on the list. <laughs> he's on Spain the list. Imposter. Look at that. Everybody who knows. Else? Who else? Uh, we only have like five more minutes. We have to put more people on the list fast because dang it, right. we made a list. Uh, and we're gonna... the, the, the other Rebecca Graves... Uh, all right, hold on. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us you got a commie. And go. Okay. You know what? I've, I've already called in. You hung up on me, but I, I feel like I have to defend myself a little bit here. Go. Now, Who are the you? only reason... Okay. I'm Canadian, and you got to think and of And you're gone. All right. So, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> on the list. All right, there we go. Moving on. Um... So here we go. Yeah, if you if you can pull up the one that's marked "Good Spies," uh, Rebecca Graves from about an hour ago. Apparently, we have someone coming in. Uh, you know. Saying, oh my uh, goodness! <laughs> this is some intense stuff that I'm looking at right now. We appear to have Listen. footage. I'm not sure how this makes Tom Merritt. Brian, <laughs> Brian, this is the end of the episode, and we're getting the, the like like any conspiracy movie. As you get deeper into it. You never know what you're going to see. And this is, I want to prepare everybody who's watching at home or, or later on on the video feed. What, what you're about to see is not only disturbing, but it may shake you to your very core. Brian, please present the evidence. Um, there is a Tom. <laughs> it's a photo. Like, what is she trying to convince us of? Because it's a naked picture well, of Thomas Marit with a horse. <laughs> And that's it. I don't. I don't get well, it. Well, but you know, Brian, if you click, there's a, one more photo that was taken. I believe five minutes later. Oh, and okay. that is really so. Even <laughs> in his most vulnerable moment, Tom Merritt naked with a horse, he put on it's, the following piece of clothes. Yeah, well, it's Tom. Oh no! It's the communist head. So, <laughs> so just like that, all it takes is the Photoshop of a man next to a horse, and you put a you put a head on him, and now he's a communist. He's made the list. Brian, you can't argue with the evidence. Tom Merritt, communist. <laughs> Chat room is a little bit preoccupied, though. They keep saying, "Look at Tom's horse. Tom's horse is amazing." <laughs> <laughs> so. 
uh, is this everyone, by the way? Cameron Ramsey keeps calling me on my phone, uh, and I wish you would figure out that we're all only doing Skype calls. But uh, look, I've seen, uh, I, I don't know who's left. We got, we got the big wigs. Is there any surprises left in the list? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm going through these now. Uh, uh, people saying the Trollolo guy. Is he a commie? Well, yes. Well, of course he is. He's so. from he's communist Russia. But and he's he, not a spy. Yeah, yeah, he's not a spy. Oh, you know what? Maybe he is. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, hey, caller, you're on the air for a se for an unprecedented second chance to redeem yourself, the magician. Okay, I'm with you, Brian. I hate the Cincinnati Reds, too. And you're off. <laughs> that, was a, that was a hell of an attempt. <laughs> you're on the list now, mister. I love the fact that we have that song to play now. Where it's like anyone who screws up our show, anyone who comes in with a bad bit, they're not just lame viewers. They're now communist spies. You have no idea how much I've missed berating the callers. I didn't realize that I would miss it so much, but I love it. It was my favorite part of the show. I don't know why we got away from it. I don't know either. Uh, all right, we have another caller on the air. This one uh, is, it looks like um, Jay Lunberry. What's going on, dude? How are you doing? Ryan, the one you need to uh, worry about is not the Russians. It is the Canadians. They have they have tainted our our wonderful baseball with their Toronto Blue Jays. And now, is this a, is this an actual Russian calling in, or is this an American with a funny Russian accent calling in? <laughs> it is a, an American. <laughs> <Russian accent. laughs> okay. I'm not sure why it occurred to you that calling well, in just, pretending to be a Russian person would be the right way to get a hold of us. You know, I, I'm just I'm just glad that not only have we uncovered a vast Russian conspiracy to take down the very fabric of the Internet, but we've had even a little bit of evidence delivered by a real Yeti. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, an actual abominable snowman has called in to the NSFW show. All right. Thank you so much for your report. Uh, we appreciate it. Next time, skip the accent, I think, is the best uh, prescription for also, you right there. Also, by the there. way, I've always believed you were real. I just want to get that out there. <laughs> He's done. already gone, bro. He's already gone. Uh, uh, well, by the way, Brian, I'll tell you what. Uh, I think we. I think our job is done here. Well, uh, you wouldn't know it from the calls that are pouring in nonstop at this point. John, what do you got for us? You better report a name or you're off the air. Go. All right, I sent the list earlier, and you complained about a lack of truth. I had to protect my sources. Lack of evidence right is what it's called. YouTube. Okay, express. Okay, you're off. Get out of here. Let's talk to somebody who knows. Comrade Carhacks. Comrade Carhacks. Uh, again. Set us I straight. Have someone to report. Okay. Wait, you're you're the communist. You're turning in your own guys. Yes. Why would you report? Yes, I do not like him. It is Kuhan. <laughs> I report him. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, Get out of here. <laughs> okay, we'll put Kuan on, on the list. <laughs> Last chance for anyone who wants to get on the list, because we're about done with the list. <laughs> we pretty much have rounded up all the copies on the internet, and uh, you got to hit us up at NSFW Show on the Skype. By the way, it makes sure everybody goes to uh, bbliveshow.info for the BBpedia. The entire communist list will be uh, compiled there, and we are going to mail it to the internet at internet at internet dot internet <laughs> later in the by, by the way do you know that that the guy who created uh the bb live show dot info page the 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 bbpedia uh, patrick delahanty used to own the domain internet dot com really yes no lie he's got was, he's got how was he not like the most rich man on the planet I, I don't know let's ask some of our callers right now on the air hey caller you're on the air what's going on Hey, Brian, I have finally got you red-handed. Doing what, sir? I sent to Justin an email that explains everything in two pictures. Okay. Justin. Uh, you're going to need to be please, a little bit more specific, please. sir. Listen, Hold there's a lot of things I'm guilty of, the and they can all be shown in two pictures. So... You want to know what? Uh, how about uh, I file this one under communist for you under one mouse click? <laughs> <laughs> Too complicated, folks. Come on. You're a communist. Boom. Moving on. Next, next caller. Uh, By the way. We're gonna, I'm turning this one into, <laughs> one into a, uh, are you a communist or not? 
<laughs> we do have, okay, for coming back for thirds is John Vogel. John Vogel, look, you better have something for me this time or you're off. Go. Ira Glass, communist. You know what? Is that him? John, Agreed. Duh. Ira, Ira Glass, thank you. Okay, and he's well done, well played, sir. Ira well, Glass. Damn. That's all you had to say. Ira Glass, that's all you had to say. <laughs> Are you saying Ira Glass is a commie? By the way, Thank in the history of this show, I don't know that I've ever seen the chat room moving as fast as it is right now to, to completely just keep filling us up with all the people who need belong on the list. Matt, wh who do you have to put on the list, sir? Uh, this weekend, they're all a bunch of communists. No, oh, come on, dude. That's uh, like saying North... Uh, wait, well, what's a state that doesn't exist? Oh, the United Soviet Socialist Republic is communist, you know, because they were, exactly. they're gone. You know, you know the country that we're actively trying to root out spies for? And it's like saying that they <laughs> don't exist. Okay. All right, look. Um, and besides, uh, half, half that show is back on the network, so we're nice to her now. All right. Because we really like her. All right, caller. We got one more caller. Tell us, who's the spy? What do you got? I think it's Andy and not Co. Just based off uh, Mac Weekly 39. I heard about this. I heard he actually sung the 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 Soviet, Soviet national, national anthem. anthem. But then again, so did I, I right before the show began. So you call me a communist? Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Bricks. <laughs> He's, no. No. I'm willing no, to sir. put a not Co there though. I'm willing. I'm willing to put him on the list. Ah, screw it. Let's put him on the list. Want to know why? Want to know why? I ain't trust those goddamn uh, sideburns, and I still don't. They're very weird. And besides, he writes from Boston, but he works in Chicago. Sure. Play All it, right. bro. Okay. Buddy. Play him out, keyboard communist. <laughs> we need to think of, of, of Stalin with just <laughs> the hands out. Just the same keyboard guy thing, but it's Stalin's head. And we just <laughs> Play him out, keyboard communist. <clears throat> All right. Oh, can we... Burp. Can we have a can we have, can we take a break here to to have a serious conversation? And when I say serious, uh, yeah. I'm talking about like let's get like serious. Some people are indicating <laughs> that because Kevin Rose went to China, he's a communist, and you know what? No, that makes no, him a tea no, drinker, no. which is totally different. Yeah, but Alex Albrecht. <laughs> really? Wow. All right. Sorry, man. Calling him as you say him. Uh, look, dude. Guys, bad news. The NSFW name has to. Because it turns out when you label your show NSFW, that means something. It means, hey, guys, we have hardcore pornography on our show. And guess what? We don't. If we did, we'd be no. on the list. And we're the ones making the list, so we don't want to be on the list. So the name's got to go, and we've got a proposition or a preposition or a, a prepository supposition. Justin, tell us about it. Uh, yeah, we are going to uh, give you guys an up or down vote, right, Bri? Yep, yep, uh, yep, yep, on, yep. on the one that we like the best. By the way, the up or down vote already says we should just add porn. That's all we need to do to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> if the problem is our name means we have boobs in it, then what we need to do is add boobs. But we want to say to NSFW. Yee, yee. And so that means we need to come up with now, an alternate title. What, I think, let's just, just real quick, what if we did the show? And we kept everything that we did completely SFW. But every once in a while with SFW intros, we just threw to hardcore pornography <laughs> just to keep the name kosher. So we'd just be like, anyway, Brian, so we're rooting out communists. Isn't that crazy? What a funny bit we're doing. Let's take some callers. Anyway, here are two guys making a new friend. With take it away, Rocky Bukaki. Go. <laughs> All right, so uh, the point is <clears throat> we need to come up with a new name, one that will allow us to hit the general audience of the interwebs, and we don't want to do it without you guys. We don't want to just go into back room and write down some names on slips of paper and, you know, make a list because that just seems un-American to me, making lists, putting people sure, on lists. Sure, yeah. And exactly. so in instead what we want to do is we had a proposal for an alternate name. We liked Internet the podcast, which came from Justin, but then from the chat room, somebody sent in our new favorite, which I like it. Justin likes it. Uh, Very much so. Both of us like it. <clears throat> but what we want to know is if you guys like it in the chat room, and that also goes for anybody listening at home, how would you feel if everything about this program was exactly the same as you experienced it right now, only the title became Justin? Serious Business. <laughs> All right, 
straight up, up or down vote. We want to see it right now from you guys in the chat room. Serious business, new name of the show. And the question from the chat room is, do we spell it out? Is it serious business or is it SRS BSNS? Uh, this, looks, uh, this looks pretty split. It looks pretty much 50 uh, You know, there's somebody who wants to ring in on this and tell us. Let's go to uh, Comrade Carhax. Comrade serious business. <laughs> Comrade Carhax, serious business for the win or for the lose? Oh, he already hung up. He just said it and then hung up. He just he said finished. it and hung up. Well, I tell you what we'll uh, do. <clears throat> what we'll do is we will give it a one-week debate period. Everybody can think about it. Up or down? Well, yes or no? Every, come on. Come on. I mean, what are we going to think and argue for a week? I just well, no, no, I'm just saying, well, we won't see them until next week. So what they should do is they should send us an email at nsfwshow at gmail.com, right? Or should we just set up a poll? No. Or we're we're, we're not going to decide. I mean, we got more viewers than are watching right now. We got another caller chiming in. Ch uh, caller, what's going on? What do you think, sir? Hey, change it to uh, Fapper and Friends and have a little logo like Fox and Friends. Fox and Friends <laughs> with Fapper and Friends. That is pretty good. Well played, sir. Not bad. Uh, well, all right. Look, uh, obviously, this is a very contentious issue. Justin, you, uh, yeah. anyone else we want to put on the list before we wrap things up here? No, I think we got a pretty, uh, we've already indicted the heads of a couple major billion dollar corporations. Uh, and we've defamed the character of random people we haven't met. I think we have done the great American tradition of identifying un-American uh, persons very, very proud today. Somebody else suggested awesome sauce. What do you think? We got serious business or awesome sauce. Pete, what do you say, sir? Sounds like sounds like something that'd be on a 13-year-old girl's backpack. Okay. Awesome okay, sauce. wow. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you said that. I, I don't even want to say what I thought you were headed with that. Uh, uh, Pete, Pete Fick, what do you say, sir? I have photographic evidence here that just came into me from my sources of a spy in the Twig Cottage employee. Okay, go on. What do you got? I, I don't know anything about this image, but I've posted it in the chat room right now, and uh, it's pretty disturbing. Okay, let's right, take, let's take right. a look at it. Well, hold we're, on. We're looking... As we get to that, since we are coming to the end of this, I want to remind everybody that Weird Things TV is available on YouTube. Go to youtube.com slash weirdthingstv. I would greatly appreciate it. And a brand new Weird Things podcast is out. Me, Brian, and uh, Andrew Main, who called in uh, earlier today. Uh, I'm super, super proud of it. Uh, please go and listen to that on weirdthings.com or uh, on iTunes. Listen, uh, for those of you who are not longtime listeners of the show, many of you know that Pete Fick is one of our very best Photoshoppers. He's somebody who produces incredible images. Uh, but tonight... I'm afraid he totally phoned it in. He reported to work lazy, possibly drunk on the job, and did this very <laughs> poor Photoshop of Eric Lanigan in front of a communist flag, which tells me a little something about Pete Fick himself. Justin, you got something you want to play for Mr. Peter Fick Leninist? Hit the bricks, Pete Fick. They're on the list. This is, a, this is the worst Photoshop I've ever seen. I don't even know who's Eric Lanigan. He's the he's the the uh, he he runs the board during TNT during Tech News Today. Oh, in, in the Twig Cottage, he ran our board once. Oh, did he? Yeah, you owe him your everything. I I yeah no I love him. And we've got another, see, many, many photos of our boss as a, listen, if there's one person we're not going to put on the list, it's our boss. Come on. No, no. Really? Come on, he's, get real yeah, here. If he's, if he's coming, I'm ready to flip this list, by the way. I don't from, care. Like, I don't care little, how many photos you give to us of him clearly wearing <laughs> <laughs> Soviet clothing. There's no amount of Soviet clothing that's going to convince us that, uh, that uh, that Leo Laporte is a guy. I don't know. There's actually, now that I'm looking at it, Justin, there's a lot of photos people are sending in of, Joe, of yeah, Leo wearing He does Soviet. do the voice a lot, too. But you want to know what? I'm, I, he's off the list. Uh, Brian, you know, I think it's about time that we finalize this, bring it over to the notary public, get it stamped down, and uh, and, and we and we move on. Uh what do you say? I'm down with it, bro. I'm done. I'm done. We've got our list. We've we've saved, you know, we've saved America is what I'd like to think. I think right? so too.
All right. Well, until next time, you can see, uh, uh, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash schwood. That's S-H-W-O-O-D. Good news for the next month. We're going to be out of the studio. So if you have any suggestions for future episodes of NSFW, Serious Business or Awesome Sauce. Awesome Sauce does sound like a boy band, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not, not the biggest fan of it. Uh, maybe maybe you and I can sing in Awesome Sauce. We can, we can Photoshop the two of us in front of 50,000 screaming girls and you and I could be Awesome Sauce, the two-man awesome band. Sauce! But until then... That uh, really that, would be on it. would be on a 13-year-old girl's backpack at that point, right? That, well, that's, that's totally true. All right, guys. Uh, look, we love you very, very much. Uh, we'll hang around for a brief after show after this, but this is NSFW for the moment until we change the name. The new sauce full of win. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Kind of fire. Fapper's Fun House is a good one. Hold on. Wait, wait. Stop the presses. Stop everything. Stop everything. Uh, we yeah. actually have an, <laughs> we actually have an image. Uh, Justin, will you play the music? Because I'm afraid we have our winner, sir. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> play him off, keyboard communist. <laughs> <laughs> This is a jaunty tune to kill people by. This was their battle hymn. This is their 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 battle song. Their or army song. Yeah. Yeah. Communist Texas suggests this week in cats. <laughs> um, we got Planet Schwood. We've got. See, here's the problem about throwing it up for grabs. What the heck? This is the communist versions of Trollolo Wow. Uh, Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Brian, I actually do have two pictures that prove that you're a communist. Go, okay. I'm going to put them into the uh, chat room. All right. Uh, put them to my. Gun. It's, your, uh, it's 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 your. Uh, your oh, your my weekend. clearly communist-inspired logo. Hey, man, <laughs> you're on the list. Play the song for him, Justin. <laughs> you don't point out similarities between you know this and the other thing. It's Ray's man. Ray's are in right now. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to call this guy a communist. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. What show should we call NSFW? What do you got? Okay, you got the awesome show, and you have totally Boom. safe for work. Totally safe for work. What about TSFW? TSFW works. It's totally safe. <laughs> right. We can also call us, you know, your grandma's favorite forward. Yeah. What we should, we can also call it the Fibber McGee and Molly show. The what? The Fibber McGee and Molly show. Oh, I thought Why you were not? making some kind of Molly Wood reference. I was confused about that. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, lines are open, dude. Comrade call, Car Hacks, what do you say? Uh, I'm definitely gonna yes, call in, I would have to say that serious business is probably the best one so far. That's one for serious business. Jay Lunberry, what is your suggestion? Get the fun on, GTFO. Get the fun on. I like that one. Get the fun on. Shelly, what is your suggestion? I'm on for Fapper's Fun House. Fapper's Fun House, TSS Olic. What do you got for us, buddy? Best worst internet show. The best worst internet show? That uh, harkens back to another time. But I always, I always love that title, The Best Worst Show on the Internet. But you seem to feel, Justin, like it set people up to think our show wasn't very good. No, uh, it, it, was, it wasn't necessarily that, that title. It was just doing the 15-minute intro at the beginning of every show explaining how terrible hey, we are. Where this is going to suck. All right. This is a terrible vanity project. Andros, what is your, what is your selection? 
I just wanted to let you know it can, the show can't be abbreviated TITS because there's already something called the Internet Talk Show. Ah, oh, good. It's Thank you. Nothing of this caliber. Good. Marlon, talk to us. What do you got? Fapper's Funhouse all the way. Fapper's Funhouse? But that's an old meme. We don't even know how long this, this rascally rapscallion will be around. Drew, what do you got and, for us? And also, you don't, you don't want it to uh, be I'm all down for is, serious business if you keep the Whatever, internet shorthand sure, and wrong. keep it SRSBSNS. I'm sorry. So uh, the caller rudely interrupted you, Justin. Uh, gerbs. Go ahead, Gerbs. Uh, yeah, Brian. Brian. Listen, Brian. <laughs> gerbs. The thing with Fabris Funhouse is that it's really, really funny. We can call it inside. We can be Fabris Funhouse. But if we, we want a name that is somewhat hip enough, so some random person in iTunes can look at it and be like, all right, by I get the it. album art and the title, like, oh, this looks interesting. And Fabris Funhouse looks like a kid show or like we're going to be doing... Uh, a, a kid show. Right, that's the same problem we already had with NSFW, yes. is that we were painting a picture that wasn't accurate. Nathan, what about you? What do you say? Uh, serious business. Okay, Bill Meeks, talk to me. Business time, baby. Car ha comrade Carhex, one more time. What do you got? <laughs> oh, this is a Comrade Carhex. No oh, this is Car. I'm, I'm sorry, regular Carhex. Oh, just Carhex. <laughs> regular Carhex. What do you got for calling us? calling from your number, by the way. All right. What do you got? Oh, what do you say? Some, yeah, that's my theory. It's, it's a communist. What, what, do you, uh, what, do you, what do you like? Oh, yeah. I'm that's already serious voted. Business. That's okay, he says serious business. <laughs> Natasha, what do you say? Hi, I like Fapper and Friends. Fapper and Friends, that's good. Paul, what do you got for Whoa. us? Oh, hold on. How is that, a girl that, called? That was a girl. That was just a girl. Yeah, Paul, I got the Artist Review Weekly. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Troublemakers, bring the funny show, lowered expectations, excessive fun time, hobbits from Uranus, just what you've always wanted, the cyber hilarious hour, funny gasm, are you ready to have your mind blown, the live from hell show, and uncensored reality humor experiment weekly. Ideas I've ever heard. All right, I uh, want all of them uh, yeah. to be the name. You better send those in. That, send full, those in. Like, put those that names in the hat. All right. All right, Lon, talk to me. What do you got? Unintended consequences. Unintended consequences. T.S. Sasolik, you better have something good. The glorious aftertaste. The glorious aftertaste. What do you got, Maurice? Talk to me. <laughs> um, I was thinking Web Riot. See. I, I think Web Riot's really good, but it's too yeah, close but the to is, Film Riot. Um, MTV already came up with that in 1999. Wait, who did? MTV. Look it up on Wikipedia. They already <laughs> chose that name. Man. Yeah, it seems very... Anything that references the internet in the title is very dated in my Wait, mind. wait, like Internet like, the, the internet Podcast, which was like your idea last week? Yes. Which is why it's not a good idea now. <laughs> Adam, Move. talk to me. All right. You know, initially I wanted the Awesome Sauce show, but jury has won me over, and serious business seems to be winning for me. What about, like, if we did Elite Speak style, where it was just SRS, no, here's, here's, Yeah, here's yeah I think that might be the it? way to go, especially that combined with the album art will give people the right idea of what the show's about. You know what? I dig that because yeah. NSFW, part of the reason we like it is because it's lead speak. You know, every, only insiders yeah. know what it means. But SRS, BSNS, where it's like, we just call it Serious Business, but the logo also condenses. That was the only thing I didn't like about Serious Business is that it was would be too wide to make for attractive uh, album art. But SRS, Dude, BSNS. I already got, I already got the t-shirts, right? All right. Yeah. In Run, D Run DMC style, oh. SRS, BSNS. Dude, no, that's great. Josh, what do you got for us, man? I, I like funny gasm. <laughs> funny gasm? <laughs> <laughs> that was the guy with the long list. Oh, you were. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, no, we, we know. We know. <laughs> Marlon, what do you got for us? Do we have to change the show name? I already lost Brian Brusher on the road and BB Live show. You're not losing anything. It's the exact same you show. You've got to learn to let yep. go. One day, all no, of your family will be dead. And what will you do then <laughs> if you can't handle this? Uh, yeah, let's, uh, Matthew, what's going on, dude? What do you got? Since they're vacating the throne, Twit Nation. Twit Nation. Wow. That's Wait, a they're not calling it Twit Nation anymore? 
Wait, no, it was Dignation. That's oh, a different Dignation. show called Dignation okay. with two drunk Japanese. Yeah, no, we're going we're to call it Dignation with Kevin Rose and Alex Albright. Yeah, Nelia, talk to me. Blow me. Oh, come on, see <laughs> oh, I thought that was I thought that was you, Justin, doing that. That's Hands not, up! Yeah, I okay, did not do right. that. <laughs> oh, well played. We uh, we have one in from Andrew Maine, who thinks that we should call the show Youngwood. Youngwood, <laughs> yeah, because that won't get us. <laughs> that sounds like, sounds like a western. Hey, caller, you on the air? What's going on? Uh, but seriously, if you have BS. Oh, dude, that's good. Nobody ever says but seriously. Yeah. Why do you, I don't know, but but S R S L Y is not bad. For a comedy show, I think it kind of tells uh Cameron, you finally made it on. What's going on, dude? Thin. This week in nothing. You said thin and then you spelled twin. Caller, oh, you're on the air. What's going on? And you're gone. Uh, let's do this. TSS, go. Twit night. Marlon, talk to me. Okay, if it's going to be serious business, you got to spend at least three minutes talking about something real. But seriously, I kind of like but seriously. B-U-T-S-R-S-L-Y. You know, are, you ready for, are you ready for it to be constantly misspelled with two T's, though? Car hacks, talk to us. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to go against my original serious business because I uh, looked around. There are some apparently other podcasts named that. What? That one serious business? Well. There's a lot of serious business podcasts. Apparently, yeah, there was some oh, a few links in sure. the chat room. So, are there uh, any? But seriously, probably not a very good name. But are you still going? But seriously, it's not a very good name. It kind of sucks. Ah. Plus, somebody else owns ButSeriously.com, and it looks like this. Collar. Hey, look at that. Look at that. And what, is, what does that look like right there? Why not go with Back to BB Live Show? Well, that's, that's the big question. Um, I think Leo would be open to that, but the problem is I don't know if that's more approachable than some other option because we have the opportunity to start from square one. Like, is there, yeah. like, now, now I'm assuming that everybody that's a proponent of BB Live Show was somebody who was watching the original BB Live Show experiments back in the day. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's like, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but you guys are not the target audience. You're not, like, if all we wanted to do is have the people who are watching now continue to watch, we would keep everything the way it is right now. But the idea is, is we want to get a lot more viewers, and that's why we're talking about changing the name. So I don't know that BB Live Show is necessarily more approachable than an SFW. Yeah, I see. Are you there, buddy? Adam, talk. Use your words. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hey, what's up, boss? Uh, sorry, I had the boom up. Um, you said you wanted to hear from somebody who was a Twit Army fan, not really knowing who you guys were. Yes. And uh, yes, please. So that's that's the boat I was in. You know, I've been following Leo for years, and then you guys kept carried over. And, you know, it was kind of funny the way you said, who are these jackasses invading my clubhouse? And, you know, I certainly didn't have that attitude, but you saw the NSFW tag and you're like, eh, well, you know, it looks like hijinks. It's not my thing. But, you know, you eventually tune in and you guys are charming. You're funny. It's a lot of fun here. And that stuff wins people over. There's no reason people should stay away. So the NSFW tag has certainly, I think, maybe worked against you a little bit. So um, that's just my two cents. So I agree. The name change is a good idea. Going back to the old BB Live or trying to hang on to NSFW isn't really going to do you guys any good moving this forward to a wider audience. Thank you. That's all. All right. Thanks, boss. Uh, the uh, Serious Business Review. Serious Business <laughs> Review? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Well, Only honey. if it's R E V U E, like we're gonna be doing some dancing and singing. <laughs> yeah, da, da, so, da, yeah, da, da. Uh, wait, wait. After hours, the after show, and uh, night attack. Night attack. <laughs> I like the idea of night attack, and the cover art is me and Brian looking really menacing, <laughs> wearing wearing like ski masks and brandishing knives. <laughs> I'm like, we're, we're creeping up on a young mother in a darkened grocery store parking lot. Night attack. Sean, talk to us. What do you got? How about you combine the names of you two guys and call it Barry? 
Barry. Barry, Barry you are what? <laughs> that is certainly oh, Barry. clever. That's true. Okay, I'm just going to say, you guys have, like, a very mature show. It's not mature, but, like, it's it's comedy. You don't have to actually go for the immature name. Like, look at the... Um, Oh, God, what's his name? The guy with the orange hair, you know, uh, Connor, whatever. I can't remember his name now. But, like, Jay Leno, same, same idea. You know, like, they have funny shows, but they're not going for the immature name. You guys can go with something like that, you know? You guys could be the twit after dark, the twit at night. Or not twit at night, because that's, or, you know, what, this week and whatever, they have that. But Net, it, net at night. Can, yeah, was, yeah, exactly. But like, you, you can be something along the lines of that. Like, you guys could actually have a, a normal name because it's it's one of those nights. You know, like, I look forward to Tuesday night. I get my beer and everything else. I get half drunk and I listen to you guys, and it's great. And, Justin. And Andrew Main uh, suggests uh, Schwadology and Jury Netics. <laughs> <laughs> I like Jury Netics, dude. That's pretty good. I like that one. Marlon? Uh, I have a question for Jury. All right, go yes, on. Sir. Are you still the doing the... Uh, Predator fever thing. Well, yeah. Catch, baby. Come on. Are you are are you are you, are you, are you infected in with predator fever? For a week. What was that? I was in the hospital for a week with it. <laughs> All right. Predator Here fever. we go. As long as you're out in time. Uh, Brian, actually, you know, the first five minutes of it leaked. We could we could play a little. Oh bit no, right yeah, now. we actually we do have that. It's uh it's very yeah. exciting. A lot of people are getting bent out of shape about it. Uh, about and predator. in fact, we actually have it right here. Moose, what do you got for us? How about a uh, Twit Unleashed? <laughs> Next caller, what do you got? Twit Unleashed. <laughs> Aaron, what do you got for us, buddy? My vote's in for uh, Twit After Dark. <laughs> Joshua, what do you got? Awesomeness, the podcast. <laughs> Joshua, also Joshua, what do you got? Serious business, I like it, man. All right. Car Hacks? My attack. <laughs> Maurice, what do you got for us? Um, well, I know I used the word web last time. I do like it, but I'm trying to scratch my creativity here. How about web of chaos? Ryan, what's going on, dude? Hey, uh, what about uh, the new champions? <laughs> the new champions? I kind of like that one. <laughs> Paul, I don't mind that. Paul, what do you got? Unhealthy dolphin addiction. Drew, what do you got? Uh, what about the party van? Marlon, talk to me. Uh, web Patrol. Web Patrol. Like Border Patrol. Rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> it's high. Go. <laughs> hey, well, I really like uh, the after show or oh, Guaranteed. You got to say it twice. You got to say guaranteed, guaranteed. Yeah. Brodium. <laughs> For the third time, Popo Gijo, are you there? Yes. Hey, what do this you got for us, funny. Steve? What? This weekend funny. All right, Taylor, go. So you think you can rape? You think you can? <laughs> so you think you can what? So you think you can rape? Oh my god! <laughs> All right, Brian, what do you got for us? I'm the after party. The after party? The after party. <laughs> I've got a name for the show. You want to hear it? Hello? Uh, all right. Look, I'm going to shut this thing down. 
<clears throat> I, did, I thought we would have a consensus. It turns out the internet, a little more fractious than I had uh, previously anticipated. Kind of funny how that works out. Kevin, what do you say about it? Gatorade rainbows. <laughs> Gatorade rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously, though, Paul, talk to me. What do you got? You got a good one, right? I got a couple of them. Um, this week and before and after. Mid Midnight Rendezvous. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Midnight <laughs> Rendezvous. <laughs> Midnight Rendezvous was kind of epic, you know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did you get that link? <laughs> yeah, I did, but I don't like the for sound of the attack. Bing bus <laughs> for, for night attack. <laughs> did you see it? I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> you have. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Here we have our new. Our new <laughs> Our new winner. <laughs> it's been decided. That's Night Attack. The new show will be called Night Attack. Oh.